Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve the third question from exercise 1.1. Find the LCM and HCF of the following integers by applying the prime factorization method. So here we can see that they have given us three numbers. So I am going to use the repeated division method to find the prime factors of these three numbers that is starting with 12. So 12 goes in the table of 2. So 2 6 times is 12. Then 6 also goes in the table of 2. So 2 3 times gives me 6. And finally 3 is a prime number. So 3 times 1 gives me 3. So if you look here I am using only the prime numbers. 2 and 3 are the prime numbers for division. So I will write the factors of 12 as 2 times 2 times 3. All the factors. Next, I am going to find out all the factors of 15 by using repeated division again. So 15 goes in the table of 3. So 3 times 5 is 15. And 5 is a prime number. So 5 times 1 gives us 5. So here the representation of 15 as a product of prime numbers is 3 times 5. Finally, let us find out the factors of 21. So 21 goes in the table of 3. As much as possible start with the smallest prime factors. So 3, 7 times is 21. And 7 is a prime number. 7 times 1 gives us 7. So let us write for 21. The factors are 3 and 7. So let us find out the HCF first. So highest common factor is a number which is common in all the three given numbers. So here we have 3. 3 is also there in the 15. And 3 is also a factor of 21. Since it is common in all the three given numbers, the HCF is 3. So highest common factor or divisor is 3. Now to find out the LCM, we can use the HCF and the non-common factors. That is, so it's a product of HCF and the non-common terms or HCF we have got it as 3. Now non-common numbers are the ones which are not circled. So here from 12 we have 2 times 2 which is left and from 15 we have 5 which is not circled and then from 21 we have 7 which is non-circled. So here multiplying all the numbers we get the value as 400. 20. So we got the HCF as 3 and the LCM as 420. Now let us look at the next sub question. We have to find out the LCM and HCF of these three numbers. Now 17, 23 and 29 are prime numbers. So they have their factors as just 1 and itself. So we can write here 17 the factors are 1 and 17 itself and for 23 we have again the factors as 1 and the number itself 23 and then for 29 again this is a prime number we have the factors as 1 and 29 so here let us find out the HCF first highest common factor here we have the number 1 as a common factor in all the three given numbers so we get the HCF as 1 and LCM we are again going to use the HCF multiplied with the numbers which are not circled. That is HCF is 1 and the non-circled numbers are 17 times 23 times 29. So here multiplying all the three numbers we get a value as 11,339. So this is the LCM. And this is the HCF. Now let us look at the last subpart of this question. We have to find out the LCM and HCF of 8, 9 and 25. So let us begin with 8. So prime factorizing it, 8 goes in the table of 2. 2 times 4 gives us 8. Then 2 times 2 gives us 4. And 2 times 1 gives us 2. So the factors of 8 we have are 2 times 2 times 2. 
Now let us find out the factors of 9. So here we have 3 times 3 gives us 9 and again 3 times 1 gives us 3. So the factors of 9 we have are 3 times 3. And finally let us find out the factors of 25. So 25 goes in the table of 5. 5, 5 times is 25 and 5, 1 times is 5. You don't have to go for this method for small numbers as 8, 9 and 25. I have just used the prime factorization to make the steps clear. You can directly write it as 25 is written as 5 times 5. But make sure that whatever factors you are writing, they are prime numbers. They should not be any composite numbers. So we have factor of 25 as 5 times 5. Now the next thing is writing down the HCF. That is the highest common factor or the number which is common in all the three given numbers. Now here we can see none of the numbers are common. That is 2 is over here but it is absent from 9 and 25. 3 is in the number 9 but it is absent from 8 and 25. And 5 is in 25 but it is absent or not there in 9 and 8. In such cases what we do is we take the default 1 in all the numbers. So here 1 is present in all the cases so we take the HCF as 1. Because 1 times any number gives the number itself, it doesn't make any difference. We can take all the numbers to be multiplied by 1. So we have a common number now as our HCF. Now to find out the LCM, we are going to take the HCF multiplied with all the rest non-common terms. So in this case we have 2 times 2 times 2 and from the 9 we have 3 times 3 and from 25 we have 5 times 5. So multiplying this we have 8 times 9 times 25 which simplifies as 1800. So this is the LCM and this is the HCF. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.